Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. All right, here's what I'm seeing this afternoon. We're still locked into the spring pattern, but watching two storm systems. 414 through 419. The second storm is more significant and it will have colder air with it. Here's the timeline for the Wasatch, Tetons, Colorado, and the Sierra. So, for example, I'm forecasting moderate to heavy snow accumulation in Colorado afternoon 415 through 416, moderate to heavy accumulation on 419 with that second storm system. Rain snow line continues to be a concern with each storm system once we roll through April, and certainly that'll be the case into May with warmer temperatures. All right, let me just show you the jet setup here. By close of business today, high pressure ridging across the west temperatures are running warm. Definitely a spring pattern, but here comes our storm system. Dropping down into California, 413, 414, makes its move into the interior. Um, here's 415. You can see the trough sliding through Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado, but more importantly, watch what happens. It sets the stage and then on the backside, the north, the northern branch buckles, and here comes that second storm system through a lot of the northern tier, and that one will have colder air and potentially better snow generation. Here's the forecast radar and satellite 530 today. A lot of sunshine across the west. The action's up in the Pacific Northwest, and here it comes. The load drops down into California, makes its move through uh, California, and then into the interior, 414 and 415. There's a little bit of precip with that, a little bit of snow, and it moves away. But look at the second load dropping in with that northern branch. That one definitely has a little bit more to it, and it keeps spinning, and it may drop a, um, on the tail end of it an area of low pressure through Colorado that kind of spins up on 418 and 419. All right, latest numbers. Here's what I've got, my grand total map. By late 420, looking at about 6 to 12 inches in the Wasatch, 2 to 4 in the in the Teton. Some pretty good numbers through Big Sky, Red Lodge, Hoggeton, but central to northern mountains of Colorado, especially right on top of the Continental Divide with that second storm system, we could be looking at uh, 10 to maybe 20 inches and less as you go west, less to the south. In the Sierra, um, the numbers at Mid-Mountain are, are low because... Well, the freezing level, the rain snow line is going to be so high with the onset of this storm system. You're really going to have to go high, like up on Shasta at the higher elevations to really get the best accumulation. And still looking at good numbers up through parts of uh, Banff. Sunshine up to Marmot could see a foot or more as far as grand totals. Breaking it down by time period, there's not much there between uh, the rest of today and tomorrow. It's all up in B.C. All right, 413 to 415, storm hits California, begins to throw some snow through the interior states. Final time period, second storm system rotates in. This is the one that brings most of the accumulation, um, the bulk of the accumulation through uh, the Wasatch and the central and northern mountains of Colorado, especially on top of the Continental Divide. And you can see the numbers up in BC. There are parts of sunshine and marmot, 8 to 12 inches in this time period alone. Okay, let's go to the northeast. Um, totals haven't changed much. Still looking at rain showers next couple of days. Potentially some very light snow and the extended forecast. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this afternoon mountain weather update. Always appreciate you tuning in here and take care.